My name is uh, Dr. Rishi Bhatnagar and I am working as a Vice President uh, in Tech Mahindra and I am heading the Digital Enterprise Services business of Tech Mahindra. Tech Mahindra being part of a Mahindra Mahindra group, you know, we are working uh, in, as a global IT services provider and we will be somewhere around, so four, uh, we were $3.2 billion company last financial year and we are progressing on our uh, targets and all. As a company, we started with the telecom operators only and we were focusing on the uh, telecom uh, and the communication industry. And slowly, slowly, after the acquisition of Satyam, we were able to get into the enterprise space also. And today we are, uh, you know, globally present, doing, uh, providing IT services and we are working on a lot of innovative ideas. Yeah. So how do you uh, look at the uh, ongoing Digital India initiative by See, basically, um, you know, I have been really following up and being the head of digital enterprise services in India, I have been really following it up with the government of India and we are very closely monitoring it. With the change in new regime, you know, there's a very excitement and exciting time for companies like Tech Mahindra to see how can we participate and uh, involve ourselves in the digital India initiatives. We have been working with the government departments earlier, you know, before the new regime and we have been able to completely digitalized one of the largest urban body, urban uh, development body in India. So from, uh, you know, the uh, all kind of services which, in, which one of the urban development body is providing has been digitalized by Tech Mahindra. And also in the irrigation sector and the farm sector, we have been quite aggressively working. And, uh, you know, while Digital India is a very big thing and the number of programs going on on this, you know, on a very small scale, Tech Mahindra and the Mahindra Group has been doing multiple things and seeing how can we digitalize and bring new innovative ideas. Like what we are demonstrating here is the Reva car. Okay, that car is a totally battery driven car, electric car what we call. And from your smartphone, you can control the vehicle. You can open the vehicle, you can see the, you can uh, you know, switch on the ACs, you can time the ACs, you can do the temperature controls. And there are 130 plus parameters different sensors in the car which comes on your mobile automatically. So you can see how much is the battery, if you are starting from your home, how much is the battery left, will you be able to go to how many kilometers. So all those kind of facilities are available. So this is like the connected or a digital car and you know you have all the latest features available in that car. So you, uh, how soon that, you know the number of cars driving in the country right now and uh, you know we are one of the pioneers in bringing this kind of connected vehicle. So with Mahindra Mahindra Group and Tech Mahindra, we together worked on this and created this kind of uh, digital or a connected vehicle. Similarly, there are a lot of other innovations that are going on and uh, you know, we are working on Saral Rojgar and uh, you know, e-learning kind of things which will help in the mass market area. You know, when people in the blue collared people trying to get a blue collar job, okay, people who are trying to get a blue collar job you know, are looking for how can they get a job. They can utilize the kind of, you know, the Saral Rojgar kind of uh, portals which we have created. So a lot of, you know, the market is there. Now the infrastructure will be there with the Digital India Initiative. But, you know, by, while this Digital India Initiative is happening, we are also very uh, excited about the smart cities. Okay. Because, uh, you know, if we have been working in the global world and we have, you know, if you see the uh, kind of uh, the press releases which Tech Mahindra has made, we are signing the smart city initiatives for Milton Keynes in, uh, in uh, UK, in Dubai, and we have been working with a number of other councils in the world. Now we have tried to bring what solutions we have developed there, and we, we created a pilot site in the Mahindra World City Jaipur. Okay. And we, you know, we, for the smart energy, smart meters, smart parking, smart lights. So, you know, the, on one side, the green car, you know, the energy consumer, the electric car and bringing the environment control. Then energy management, which we have implemented in uh, uh, the Mahindra World City Jaipur. And, you know, it's a showcase. People can go and see it. Okay. So, you know, we are working quite excitingly and, you know, we are quite anxious to see how the government will come out with the policy decisions and all and see what can, how can we help and uh, participate in this. Yeah. Now, if uh, touch upon some of the challenges that you see are there in front of the industry. 
from an IT services industry point of view, if you say within India, I'm assuming you're asking for within India, you know, the, there are two things which, uh, because I personally have been working on behalf of Tech Mahindra in the government, uh, you know, contracts and all. Uh, there is a need for, you know, the, uh, the terms and conditions to be, uh, you know, agreeable in a stage where it is going to excite and allow the entrepreneurs and enterprises to work effectively with the government departments. Okay. So one thing I keep on telling and uh, have uh, discussed in a number of discussions, the PPP model, which is, you know, something which is very famous and people speak about private partnership and, you know, public power, private partnership. Do the uh, government consider the part enterprise as a partner or a vendor? Okay. The day they'll start considering us as a partner and will say that, okay, share risk has to be shared and not to be totally owned by the vendor, then this is the model that will work. Okay. And that is going to, you know, excite the enterprises like ours to see how can we work on this. So we are seeing, we are expecting that, you know, with the regime change and the new government has come, that too with the full majority in the parliament, that there will be a number of uh, areas where they will be able to attract the enterprises to work with them. One of them being considering the private player, not as a vendor, but as a partner. Okay, and how that will be translated into the policies and the terms and conditions in the contract. Because, you know, we are providing services. Okay, when, a pro customer, when we provide services, the payment terms needs to be defined in a way whether you, when you are providing a service. Okay, and uh, those are the kind of changes which we are expecting and we feel, if made, it will attract the uh, enterprises to work much harder in India.